Yo, it's your man with the plan, Marcelar's here. Here, looking at the nominees and voting for my game of the year in other various categories. Um, for those who don't know, I am, I know a lot of people come to my channel because I play a lot of gacha games, but if you look at my channel from the past, since the beginning, I play everything. I play everything. Um, I, I usually get to the main story. It depends on how good the game is. If a game's really good, I, if the game's just okay to me, I'll just play through it and I'll just get through the end of the game. Just finish it, done. You know, don't worry about the side quests too much other than the ones that are important. And then call it a day. Um, and then if I, re if I really like a game, I'll go through everything. I'll go through pretty much 80% of the game and I'll get some of the stuff done pretty quickly. And then if I really like a game, I'll probably go through the game and probably get like 95% of the stuff done. Maybe maybe 90, depending on how hard it is. But yeah, so I play a lot of games. I probably played 70 games that came out this year. That's probably on this list. We'll see in a second. But I'm really curious on what they're going to have. So let's just get started, everyone. Oh, they're starting with the game of the year. Okay, what do we got here? I have not finished through Astro Bot, but I could tell... This is a hard one. This is actually pretty good. I do not like this thing being here. <laughs> not because not because it's just a silly reward show, but just because I feel like it's just a spin in the face of the rest of these other games. Oh, Bellatro, I really want to play this at some point. Um, I have not played Black Myth, and I have not played Bel Bellatro, and I've played a little bit of Astro. I need to, I'm gonna play that once I'm done with some of the games I have here, but I mean, I need to move my head a little bit, but there's Metaphor over here. Maybe I can... There we go. Maybe that's a little bit easier. But we have we have Black Myth, Bellatro, Elden Ring, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and Metaphor. So I thinking I'm having a hard time between Metaphor and Rebirth Seven. Hmm. This game brought me a lot of joy. It got it got only got sluggish for like 10, 10 about about five hours and five hours or ten hours out of the whole game got a little sluggish but this game has been banger but the music and the vibes of this game are immaculate i wish i could choose both um the creativity of this though this is original i have to go for a metaphor i have to go for a metaphor yeah i did i know <laughs> I go for metaphor for now. I think I, I think metaphor is my way. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Best game direction. You create a vision, innovation, and game direction and design. Hmm. Innovate vision and innovation. I mean, definitely not rebirth. The creative vision was good on it, but the innovative. And this game has a lot of persona. Uh, like I've had to talk about innovation and creative vision. I haven't played it yet, but I have to put Bellatro as that one. <laughs> I, I I think I think it's built on super good original ideas, but I want to really play it fresh. I've only seen like somebody play like 10, 20 minutes of it, but I'm gonna put Bellatro for that. No, actually, I did think about it. Astrobot. I I want to kind of go back. Hold up. I want to go back. I Astrobot actually. Now I'm thinking about it. I'll do Astrobot. Because Velacho's a good idea, but Astrobot had this mechanic at the mechanic, and I could tell the rest of the game's like that. So Astrobot. <laughs> Best narrative. Ooh, I have not played Infinite Wealth, and I do not. I don't really care for a Sexuna. Silent Hill 2 is the old story. Uh, ooh, metaphor or Rebirth? It has to be Metaphor. Rebirth is not even done yet. Metaphor has some slip ups here and there for narrative. But overall, it's fire. Best art direction. Oh, <laughs> you don't even have to ask me this one. It's definitely a metaphor. It's definitely a metaphor. It's it's metaphor sweet. Best score in music. Ooh, it's between Stiller Blade and Rebirth. But the bow wow wow, bow wow wow, ooh, 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 the bow wow wow, bow wow wow, bum 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 bum, ooh, that, I'm not gonna lie, the metaphor songs are really good, but I would say that it's a little repetitive, like there's, they should, they could be a, they could have been a few more songs in 
metaphor. Um, but knowing Atlas, they'll do that when they do a remake of it. <laughs> um, Stellar Blade. But that song is good, especially the. I know I can't hold the tune to save my life, but but, but you know the. Ooh, ooh, this this game has some good music too. Mm, this is hard. Rebirth or Stellar Blade? I gotta say, okay, I'm gonna say it like this. For the music that Rebirth redid was fudge and fire. I'm trying not to cuss too much because I know they're being suppressed in my video. But Rebirth, like, when they did Genova Steam again for the, like, the third time, that's a, it was, it, they changed it up every time. I'm sorry, F Final Fantasy VII got it. I'm sorry, Stellar Blade. I love Stellar Blade, though. <laughs> Best audio design. The problem is I haven't played Black 6. <sighs> it's not into Call of Duty. Between Astro Bot or Final Fantasy VII Rebirth for me. I'll go Rebirth. Because the stuff in there is... The stuff, the gameplay, the, the, the sounds are pretty satisfying. And... Rebirth. Best performance. Well, I haven't played any of these games after this, so I'm going to go for Brina White. I'm guessing she was Aerith. I believe that might be an Aerith, yeah. But I don't think she's going to win it, unfortunately. But we'll see. Innovation and accessibility. I played I played Prince of Persia. I know Black o I I already know. I don't even want to give it to Activision though. <laughs> That's the thing. This this one is a little bit out of spite. I don't even want to give it to Activision for this. But Activision knows how to give some good like features. I'll do Prince of Persia. No. So I don't even know anything about Diablo 4. Let's do Prince of Persia. That one's a little bit of a throwaway for me. Games for impact. You know, I feel bad what happened to this guy's game, but I it's between it, it because I have the game. I haven't played it yet, but it's in my it's in my library, and I'm gonna play it at some point. I know people. I know it got DEI'd fired. Uh, for those who don't know, I, I know you can't see this game, but it's called Tales of Is it uh, Kinzera Zao? I think how you say it, Tales of Kinzera Zao, and it's it looks really good, but it, it got shot. <laughs> by 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 social media um this game right here i've seen clips of it it looks really good but i've, I've got to support my man I, i'm gonna this i'll support nevia is probably gonna win it though best ongoing oh which one of the fortnite i have to go fortnite i'm not gonna lie fortnite has been pretty good I think the last few patches have been weird, but for most like Fortnite's been fire. Best community support. Well, it's always freaking well. I'm not I'm not glazing, but if you know anything about Baldur's Gate community, it's it's definitely like it's the first. This is the first year where I think they or their community beat out Final Fantasies <laughs> for now, and I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy's gonna win. This year and next year and the year after, but still, that's been independent game. I already know it's the watch roll. I just, I'm, I want to put Nevia down, but best debut indie game. Ooh, they had the Plucky Squire. The watch roll might win, but I'm gonna do Plucky Squire. That game's fun. I'm almost done with that one. I stopped in the middle of it. Best mobile game. Okay. So this is the one I know people are gonna stop on for me. So AFK Journey, it looks good, but I'm not into it. Blotro, I'm guarantee you that would have been in probably up there if I had more time to play it. Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket, it just came out. <laughs> Withering Ways versus Zenless Zone Zero. I think that's what it's coming out to be. But Blotro has a chance though. The problem I have with Withering Ways, those first two or three patches were just treated me like dog shit. <laughs> Like, it, it took 15 minutes to load up my game, switch to where my game was. It still took 10 minutes to get my game to load up. 
it was just like it had so many issues when it first came out the voice acting it was so many issues that they just corrected maybe like a patch or two ago because we're on patch four so about i think the 1.3 patch got most of those issues kind of ironed out as for zenla zone zero i've been having fun with this game since day one so for me the best mobile game is going to be zenla zone zero i'm sorry it's just it just hits it just hits different I love it. I love the characters. I love everything about it. It's refreshing. It feels good. It's modern. It's, I don't know. It just feels good. It's like it's like it's like everything they did with Star Rail and Genshin, and they put it in this game, and they made the most of it. I love it. But I still like Wuwa, by the way. As you probably see in my videos, I don't know if the video's out, but I like Wuwa. It's just that first for it to be the best mobile game, it kind of hurt me that first the first few times the little while first. I can't talk when it first came out. Um, base AR, VR, AR. This might be a throwaway for me. I'm gonna guess Batman because I think Horn VR could be crazy. Best action game. I'm going Stellar Blade. The gameplay in that, the gameplay for that was immaculate. On top of the outfits, but the gameplay. Oof. Action adventure. I have Echoes of Wisdom, but I have not played it yet. I just got it like two or three days ago. I'm going to guess Astrobot though, from what I can tell and what I feel. Yeah, I'm putting Astrobot down. Because Prince of Persia is okay too, but Astrobot was fire. Best RPG, fuck. I already know Elden Ring's probably gonna win this, but let me think. Rich in customization and progression. Which was better for me? With a metaphor or rebirth when it comes to RPG? I mean, metaphor made me feel some shit. Metaphor made me feel some shit. I cried during metaphor. I cried during metaphor five times. You know what? Metaphor. I think that's what I chose my game of the year. So, yeah, we're going for metaphor. Best fighting. Hmm, versus Rising, that was pretty good. Tekken 8, that's pretty good. Arcade Collection, I heard that's decent too. Multiverse, definitely not Multiverses. I, this is the one, I have not played Multiverses game. It's the only one I have played. Sparking Zero. Hmm, Versus is just a remake of the other game. Though. It's not, I don't know if it's, de it's not decent enough. It's not different enough. Tekken or Sparking Zero? You know what? I'm gonna be a shell. I'm gonna be a shell. I'm gonna do Sparking Zero. Even though I, the story mode could have been how they did it better. Best Family. Wait, why do they have Zelda in the Best Family? You can't play Zelda in Family. Neither can you play Astro Bot in a Family. You can't even play Spark Lucky Sparrow. I guess it's game appropriate for Family play. I'm sorry. It's be Jamboree. I mean, nothing else makes sense to me in this category. This category's always been like Nintendo's category. That made no sense to me. I'm like, you, you can't play this game with a family. Sim strategy. Oh, Unicorn? Unicorn's peak. Unicorn's peak. I don't even know these other games with Unicorn's peak. Alright, sports racing. I will always choose the racing game over the other sports games. <laughs> unless it's like unless it's like NBA Jam or something. So not play this game, by the way. But racing games go all the way. Best multiplayer. Hmm, have not played Warhammer. Tekken. I would not say Tekken 8. <laughs> Helldivers? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Between Helldivers and Jamboree for me, I'll just do Jamboree. I think I think this is better. Even though I've only played a game or two of this. This adaptation. Definitely not Knuckles. If that was Sonic 2, that would have been better. Yeah, like a Dragon Yakuza. That's definitely not that adaptation. <sighs> I'm a chill. Arcane. I haven't even seen season two and I already know it's freaking peak because I haven't heard anybody complain about it. <laughs> Most anticipated game. I gotta say, I am most anticipated for six. Or no, whilst we got to play the demo, so I got a little satiated by the demo. That's gotta be six. Uh, here we got K 
Queso Techno Gamer. I only know if you I only know Pecora and Queso. What has Pecora done this year? What has Pecora done this year? Keep in mind I was I'm I'm one of those I was one of those daylight one hollow live people by the way. So I I I F heavy with uh, Pecora. But Queso every clip I see of Queso has been good. Every clip. I do not watch him regularly because I just don't have time to watch streamers for real. Like just to sit there for like more than 20 minutes and watch one because I have st I have to stream myself <laughs> and I have a hard job. But I'm not gonna lie, Pecora is nice, but I would like I don't I just and she's a corporate VTuber. I kind of wanted to be somebody a little bit more homegrown. I'd be Queso because Queso every clip of Queso I've seen has been fire. Everyone. So unfortunately, I do not have I cannot. Vote for my VTuber sister. I'm going for with Gay So. This esports game. Dota 2. Counter Strike. Oh, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it for my fellow VTubers and I get that one. <laughs> I don't really play esports ge level games. Okay, Faker. I'm not gonna lie, the only one I know here is Faker. <laughs> so I'll definitely, I'll, I'll give it to Faker. For the best esports athlete. Best esports team. Billy Billy Gaming for League of Legends. Hmm. I'm gonna be different. This is, this is when you start losing me because I just don't know people like that. Internet's big. I'll just, I'll do Team Liquid. I like their name. <laughs> Player's choice. Notify me. All right, yeah, I think those are all my votes that I've cast. So let me see, can I exit voting? Yeah, so that's basically, yeah, I think I, think I chose uh, Metaphor as my game of the year, yep. So, I hope Metaphor wins. Probably not. It's probably going to be either Rebirth. I don't know, I'm fine with that. I just hope it's not El 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 Tree. And Black Myth, I, I could see for it. It def. I don't know if it's Game of the Year material for me, in my opinion, because I think it's a really good game. But I think it has some rough edges that if they had a Black Myth with uh, back Black Myth with Wukong two, I think it should be on here. But it's kind of like putting Sonic Adventure on here and not Sonic Adventure two. It's kind of like. You're kind of sitting here like, hmm, but two, two had some things, yeah, two had some things that one was missing, but two was a little bit better. I think Wukong needs a two, and I think it, for me, it would be a game of the year. But yeah, um, tell me what you guys think down below. Tell me who you voted for for your game of the year. This is all for good fun. I just hope that whoever wins, I know I'm covering, I'm covering Metaphor. I am covering Metaphor. I know I am. I apologize if I was covering any games, but yeah, um... Tell me down below what you think and tell me what you voted for. Alright? Especially for your game of the year. Alright? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.